Pressure ulcers, condition study, and its management. Pressure ulcer is the skin and underlying tissue condition due to tedious pressure shear or friction on the precise body parts. Their formation can be due to impairment of sensation and movement, a medical condition altering blood flow, poor nutrition, and a decline in reactive hyperemia. The condition can occur due to the sequence of these factors or individual factors. It is experienced by people mostly restricted in the same position, such as in a bed or wheelchair. According to the research, older people represent the single largest group likely to suffer. The common signs and symptoms of pressure ulcers include skin pain and itching, skin discoloration, and a warm sense of the skin. This condition occurs in four stages, and it gets worse as the phases advance. The emergency department plays a critical role in the execution of pressure ulcer protocol. The management of this illness has been challenging in the recent past, therefore, it is fundamental to find better strategies. Pressure ulcers have a wide array of challenges and health outcomes at the individual and societal levels. They affect the quality of life of an individual through medication. At later stages of the disease, a patient experiences pain and wounds, causing them to stay near health practitioners. Pressure ulcers lead to infection, which can result in death. Due to the increased costs of managing the disease, an individual cost of living is adversely affected. Additionally, the sores can lead to chronic wounds that are challenging and costly to manage. The condition can lead to other diseases such as cancer and cellulitis. These diseases can threaten the patient and the nurses in handling. Studying the topic will help fellow health practitioners in finding better ways of preventing and managing the disease. Moreover, it will create awareness in society concerning the risk and occurrence of pressure ulcers besides management. This study will help find the appropriate risk assessment methods to ensure immediate interventions if there is a high risk. Every individual has a right to a healthy life. This study will help locate individuals in appropriate positions to prevent pressure ulcers. Therefore, this topic will help in reducing mortalities due to the above-mentioned condition. The primary purpose of the paper is to discuss the management of pressure ulcers. Challenges have been experienced in ensuring appropriate management of the disease. Pressure ulcers can be determined at an early stage and treated. They require critical intervention in the healthcare systems. Advanced medical strategies should be implemented. The condition needs a risk assessment to determine the rate of risk and implement appropriate measures. The study focuses on accomplishing different management strategies to reduce and prevent pressure ulcers. Additionally, with the management challenges, the study will provide vital information in healthcare to carry out different approaches to handling the disease. It aims at delivering better management approaches that are easily implemented and benefit both the individual and the community. Moreover, it should provide meaningful information on managing pressure ulcer diseases and creating awareness in the community. Since pressure ulcers affect anybody, many people will benefit from the solution to the problem. The health sector will critically handle the situation with immense care and provide significant preventive measures. Affected and unaffected individuals will also handle the disease more desirably. Management of the disease is of critical concern and requires more technical and practical ways. The government can help by providing resources for the intervention of health practitioners to handle the disease. A study of pressure ulcers is significant in ensuring quality lives. It also reduces mortality rates through implementing appropriate management and preventive measures. Management strategies for the diseases should be reviewed and replaced with more practical ways. Additionally, the patients should contribute widely to the management and preventive strategies since they are the victims. The community should be aware of the disease and ensure they implement preventive measures in place.